I'm Lewis, I'm here with Waffle TV, interviewing Kaya, Dream Interpreter. His show is on at Assembly George Square at 4pm from the 1st to the 27th of August. Kaya, how are you doing? Hello, very good, Lewis. Nice yes. to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Now, this is obviously something very different to what's going on at the Fringe. Um, a lot of people won't have seen it before. How, can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Yeah, it's a multi uh, HD media presentation on, on, on dream interpretation. So I explain, uh, during the show, I explain the main aspects and how we can interpret our dreams and right? how we can use our dreams to sort of accelerate our evolution, to improve ourselves. So, uh, what is great also is we have a film team in the street of Edinburgh every day and we film people and they share dreams and their dreams are presented on the next show so and also i take questions from the public so people can have uh, interpretations of their dreams or ask any questions uh, in the world of symbols oh well so how did you find out that you could do this uh, you could interpret it how, how did you find out you could interpret dreams oh this was like something that was very intense for me about 17 years ago uh, I was uh, um, I was in one of the number one recording artists in my country, Canada. I had the entourage of Celine Dion. I was number one on radio charts and everywhere. Wow. And uh, what happened is suddenly I started to receive ten to fifty dreams per night. Fifty and a night. Yes. Wow. And I really thought that I was going crazy. It was so intense. But at the same time, I was just fascinated by symbol. And I decided to walk away from fame and glory. In my country, I became, uh, you know, the crazy guy of the village, and the village <laughs> is big when it's a whole country, of yeah. course. So I was on every paper and every tabloid for years. People were like kind of talking about what I have done because I have refused millions and millions of dollars and contracts. But I, and I lived like a hermit for many, many years in solitude, only with myself and. So every, every, everyone thought that I was really going crazy. So it took me a long, long time, but at the same time I was fascinated by symbols. It was in my new musical chart, and, uh, and I was just staying in bed sometimes 20 hours a day, and it, uh, it just to dream more and more and more. I was a little bit extreme, I admit, so I don't, uh, I, I, I don't recommend to anyone <laughs> to do that. But it was, you know, the way that I became one of the, you know, the specialists in dreams and interpretations now. But at the time, this was not my my goal, of course. It was just to understand myself through yeah. all of these symbols and dreams that I was receiving. But I was fascinating by symbol, and I was a little bit like those young guys that play and play on the computer until they crack the program. <laughs> so this is what I had done. And, uh, and now for me, dreams are... I have no secrets. It's uh, it, it, I know like it's like a computer programmer. It's like for me, I know how it works very, very, very well, and uh, and I still receive ten to fifty dreams per night for, for the last seventeen years, and uh, and I'm very happy that I can help people now. Wow. Do you remember every dream? Yeah, I remember every dream. I write them down every night. And it's like I go back to sleep right after I don't try to analyze them on the spot. I just write them down and then I go back to sleep and then I wait in the morning to, 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 to analyze them. But it's so natural for me, so I read it like we can read the newspaper. And, uh, and we, we can receive dreams about ourselves, of course, to improve ourselves. But one day we can receive premonitory dreams and we can visit the past cleanse the memories we have accumulated. The soul is like a living computer. Uh, we're all living computers and we record positive and negative memories through all our experiences. And we see that in dreams and seems sometimes incoherent, but it's very, very logical. And all the symbols have a correlation with a state of consciousness related to qualities or weaknesses. It's like life in a sense, you know, we, we express ourselves, we receive lessons and but, but with dreams is we go deep in the root and um, in the essence of who we are. So if we know how to interpret them, then we can improve our life and we can avoid difficult situations. Because if we, if we do not understand our dreams, eventually they will become realities. So we will attract situation, the law of attraction that we really talk in physics right now, that is very popular. And, and even science is 
really quite entering more and more in the multi dimensions that we have in our consciousness. Well, well you're obviously very passionate about what you do. Yes, I am. I just I think that it should be taught in kindergarten. You know, I've raised my daughter with the interpretations of dreams, and when she arrived during the teenage years, she didn't even need me anymore. In a sense, of course, we were friends, but she had her dreams. I didn't have to tell her what to do because her dreams every morning were explaining to her, just take care of that. You know, and this. Of course, when we see a nightmare, this is very important because some people will say, "Oh, wow, we are we are what we see in dreams is us." So we need to understand that these are uh, small proportions of who we are. When we have a nightmare, it's just to can condense aspects of memories we have accumulated. But we're not only that nightmare. We have beautiful aspects of ourselves, but we're just focusing. It's like in a laboratory, and you start to look at it, at it uh, as, uh, you know, at some cells, so we can see that there's one cell that is not going well, but the other cells are fine. So this is what we can do in dreams. It can be very, very precise, and we can locate aspects of our personalities that we need to do in dreams. Well, you talk about it like, it like it's a science. Does that mean that one image has the same meaning to one person as it does to another? Yes, yes, especially with objects, but not all, of course. If we see a person in a dream, it will be different. For, from, let's say it is the chair of your grandfather, okay. then we need to know, because the grandfather will be, for you, it will have a meaning, uh, for your brother, it will be another meaning, and for me, it will be another meaning. But the chair will remain the same symbols we have in common. So we need to find the root of the, of the object. So what we do with the objects, what, what is the, the usefulness of the object, gives us what is the, 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 what the symbol means. A chair, for example, when we sit on a chair, the positive aspect is receptivity, concentration, a rest. We can rest, we can calm down. So that's the meaning of the chair, and the negative aspect is we don't want to advance anymore. We just like we're just becoming lazy and everything. So this is if we see a beautiful chair in a dream, it will be the beautiful aspects. If we see a broken chair, it will be a difficulty. We need to rest. We need to take time for ourselves. Well, oh. very logical. Yeah, it's, I mean, when you explain it, it sounds so logical. It's, it is, it but great. but of course it will be different. Let's say let's say a country, for example, we need to ask the person what this country means for you. If we see uh, another example, if we see uh, uh, a person, like I said, etc., this will have a different meaning. But every object will have like a fundamental aspect that we can. If we go to the essence of the symbol, a car is, is something that helps us to advance in our personal lives towards other people. Our feet help us to walk. So if we have a, a problem with our with our foot in a dream, it will be like. Uh, if it's the right one, it means something. The left one, it's the inside. The right one, it's the exterior action. So there's a, there's a lot. Of, it's very logical, and, uh, and 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 the more we enter in this, and the more we can really really understand ourselves in depth. So when you analyze your own dreams, uh, do you use that to make decisions in your life? Yes, yes. Now for me, you know, at the beginning when we enter in dream symbols. Uh, we receive dreams that are completely mixed up. It's more like a purification. We see, you know, accumulations of, we need to cleanse memories. It's all mixed up and everything. But the more we work ourselves, the more we improve ourselves, the more our, we can use our dreams and we can ask questions. And, and, and we, can, we can, of course, receive premonitory dreams about what's going to happen, the great outlines of certain situations. Uh, we see this is, I don't know if you heard about the, 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 all these robot uh, web that are on the web right now that they can they can have like every 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 search of everybody in the world and they can predict a tendency so in dreams it's, it's a little bit like that you know it's like we can predict in a sense the tendency that uh, between all the aspects that we have within ourselves that will create certain realities eventually but we can see of course the realities of the world of many many people at the same time in dreams and that is quite interesting when you when we can have access to the future oh. um well, uh, this interests me um what does it mean when you have a recurring dream what does that mean a recurring dream is very very important because it is a message that your subconscious and the unconscious is giving saying that you should have learned from this. You should have understood certain things. And uh, it is a pattern that comes back again and again and again. So let's say we are like, uh, 
let's say we are in a classroom and, and, and we are like, uh, there's a flood in the classroom. And then every time you can have an exam, you have that dream. That's because water is related to emotions. So every time, you know, you try to learn, you try to, you try to show to, to everyone what you have achieved, and it, you have so much emotions that, that it can create uh, a, a difficulty with the exam. It can make it that you don't succeed. So then by having that, then in the morning, so okay, I have to be careful with my emotions, and if I, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna maybe not listen to certain music that I'm just gonna make me uh, aggressive music or whatever. I'm just gonna take a calm uh, moment for me before I do the exam to make sure my emotions will be managed and corrected. So this way I can more, I can have more focus when it's done, and this way I can succeed and can ach achieve the objective that I want in life. Well, well, you said you mentioned a music career before. Mm -hmm. um, do you still? Do you, you uh, use music as part of your dream interpreting, or? That's extraordinary because I'm uh, as part of the festival. Also, this is very new. Uh, I'm doing uh, the, the the dream interpreting show for the whole month until August 27. It's 10 a.m. every morning at the at the assembly one, but also from August 20 to 26, I have just recorded a new album called Bone Under the Star Change. The music is a little bit like Sting and Peter Gabriel. And, uh, the, and and I have a I have a song called The Alchemist that is on 32 on the charts in the U.S. right now. It's it, it's extraordinary what's happening with this record, and it's just been released in March and in and in Scotland and in the U.K. It will be released in 2013. But I present uh, the album at the Acoustic Theatre at Sam Bribes also. So so from August 20 to 26. So I'm going to be giving uh, uh, seven concerts, also music concerts. Fantastic. Well, this has been a pleasure. It's yeah. very nice to meet Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It's been great. So people can have more, more information if they go on the website also. It's at kayadreams.com. So K-A-Y-A dreams.com. You've definitely made me want to know more. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much.